Child found dead by suicide in Texas with a gaming headset still on as police accused gamer of cyberbullying him to death. More after this. Welcome back to AFG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis of the most popular topics in the world today. Today's video, we have a cyberbullying attack that left one teenager dead. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AFG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. The more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over Similar to yourself. I'm on normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. A Michigan teenager pleaded true to cyberbullying as a Texas teenager who was found dead by suicide while wearing a gaming headset in January. Law enforcement in Montgomery County, Texas, announced that the Michigan teenager's plea on a social media post explaining that his development came after a lengthy investigation. Due to the ages of both the victims and the suspect, their names were not revealed in the post. The Montgomery County, <clears throat> excuse me, the Montgomery County Precinct 3 Constable Office takes investigations regarding cyberbullying serious and will continue to investigate these cases to the fullest extent. Montgomery County deputies and detectives said they were first called to a home in Lockwood Ridge Farms, Texas, on a firearms call in January. After discovering that the child victim had died by suicide, they conducted a lengthy investigation which involved multiple search warrants, legal processes, and interviews with members of an online gaming community in multiple different states around the nation. The male suspect, who lived hundreds of miles away in Michigan, appeared before a Texas court on January the 7th and pleaded true to a felony charge of aiding suicide and a misdemeanor charge of harassing calling death, causing death. Excuse me. The Michigan teenager will be on probation until he turns 18. He will be required to take a suicide awareness program while being prohibited from online gaming and using electronics with internet access. Okay, um, the reason why I'm bringing this story up, yes, it said January the 7th. He was just given his sentencing, you know, within this past week or so. And that's the reason why they're saying January, they had to have a lengthy, you know, investigation. And now we got to the bottom of it and now we know what's going on. Um, all right, so let's start from the top. Michigan teenager pleaded guilty to cyberbullying a Texas teenager who was playing online games. Okay. Um, first and foremost, playing these video games on, online can get a bit intense. I used to be a gamer. I mean, you know, I still game from time to time. Not as much. But I still game from time to time. I was actually one of those guys that went out and I played. You know, it's a lot of trash talking. You know what I'm saying? People saying this, people saying that. You gotta be strong. You gotta have that strong, you know, that, that strong, uh, you know, mental fortitude that you need when you're talking to these certain people. Most of the time, people talking trash. You could be beating up on them, you could be beating them, winning, you know what I'm saying? They feel some kind of way about losing, so they talking trash to you, and it's in the third, or whatever. You know, usually if you're not a threat, they're not going to really say nothing to you. The kid in Texas might have been whooping my man, you know, from Michigan's tail, and, um, you know, he felt some kind of way about it. Now, trying to get, now making this kid actually kill himself over the game, to me, is a real thing. Okay, it's a serious thing and it, it needed to be taken serious because there's a lot that's going on these days and a lot of these kids are not really um, strong enough to be able to handle the criticisms of their peers. You know what I'm saying? Let's known someone else that, that may be, you know, in a, 
an enemy or, you know, someone that really doesn't like you or, you know, I'm, you don't have to really like somebody. When you get online, okay, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this. I've been on Xbox Live. I've been on PlayStation, uh, what they call it. Um, I forget what they call the PlayStation when they on live PlayStation. Mainly I was on Xbox Live and that was my thing. I played basketball, we played football, we did a little Call of Duty here and there, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I played basketball, right? So I'm online, we talk, you know, this was back years ago, 2009, 2010. I was a beast. You don't have to believe me, but I was a beast, trust me. I was beating the top dudes, okay? And you know, you get a lot of trash talk when you're on your headset. Just because they saying what they say in the headset, can't nobody do anything to you for one thing, okay? I'm, t I'm playing against a guy that's in Houston and I'm in Philadelphia, you know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about what's going on with this dude in Houston, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, why am I worried about what he got going on? I'm over here in Philadelphia, you'll never see me unless we go into a, like a, you know, we all collab or whatever and then we just decide, hey, we're gonna meet up somewhere else or something like that, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what I look like, you don't know who I am, you don't know about nothing about nothing. I could be standing right next to you months later and you wouldn't even know it was me that was, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's a situation where they don't know. You don't know what's going on. You don't know until you don't know. You know what I'm saying? And for my man to be sitting here getting bullied, you know what I'm saying? It's it's sad. It's a sad situation. And any kid out there playing the game, you know, with other little kids and they going back and forth, people saying mean stuff, you gotta let that roll off your back. It's like water off a duck's back. You gotta let that roll off. You can't worry about what people are saying. There's so many people in this world that's so worried about what someone else says, okay? I get people that come in my comment section and saying all types of negative things to me. Oh, I look like a thug. Oh, I'm just too slow. I need to speed, you know, take the music out. Do this, do this. You shouldn't do this. Oh, you sound stupid. You look stupid. Are you high, bro? Are you really high? What is wrong with you? Like, I mean, it's all types of stuff to say in my comment section. Guess what? You think I care? No, because I'm making the next video and the next video and the next video. It's going to roll off my back and I'm going to keep it moving. Now, granted, I got the strong fortitude to deal with that. Everybody can't do that. I get that. You know what I'm saying? So, what do you do when you can't handle that? Disconnect. Don't go online and play the game. Play the game in your own personal your own personal space, on your own personal time. And you don't need nobody on your headset telling you this, telling you that. First of all, somebody telling you to kill yourself and then you're going to go out there and kill yourself? Like, come on, bro. You actually are really, really wicked. You really are one of those people that need the approval of someone else to make yourself feel good. You shouldn't need the approval of someone else to make you feel good. You know what I'm saying? I got enough enemies out here in, these, in, in this world, okay? These people don't mean nothing to me. I am who I am. I'm gonna keep making money. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep being happy. I'm gonna keep getting what I wanna get. I'm gonna keep flourishing. I'm gonna keep shining. And there ain't nothing they can do about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep being me. I'm getting bigger and better and stronger. And guess what? Keep on hating. That's fine. That's cool. I don't mind. It don't mean nothing to me. I don't lose sleep at night thinking about that kind of stuff because I know who I am and what I do. Okay? God ain't make no mistakes when he made me. Trust and believe. Okay? So, I mean, it is what it is. You young people out there, you got to stop letting people tell you that you ain't this, you ain't that, and stop talking down about you and then you believe in that shit. Okay? You need to believe in yourself a thousand percent, okay, before someone else can even say anything. If you got low self-esteem within yourself, don't go online and play. Because the internet is a very, very mean place to be at, okay? A very mean place to be at. So, I mean, it's unfortunate this young man lost his life because of cyberbullying, but it's a real thing. And y'all need to, you know, understand that Stop being mean to people out there like that. So everybody can't handle it. You know what I mean? A little bit of trash talk here and there, but that's it. You telling people to kill themselves? Oh, come on, man. It's just too much. Just too much. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully it gets better going forward. Hopefully they have people online that can actually, you know, mitigate that the issues that they have online and, you know, kind of interfere, you know what I mean, with the with the with the words and you know just kind of clean it up a little bit make it better and make it more safer for everyone else that want to get online and play so you know 
But with that being said, if you like what you heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well to bring more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. Similar to yourself, all my normal subscribers, thanks for coming back. All my new subscribers, welcome. Welcome to AFG's POV. Do me a huge favor, hit that like button. I'll take the time, I'll wait, let you hit that like button. So we can push this video out to several other people, um, along with you hitting the share button, that helps as well. Um, so that, you know, other people can hear, the, hear this message and, you know, take heed. You know what I'm saying? Some, somebody needs to hear this message, okay? And just because you may not like it, you may not need it, okay, fine. Share, boom, somebody else can get it. Somebody else snag it. Yo, man, I'm so glad you left that story right there, man. It really helped me out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it helped this kid out there on the street. Like, you never know who, who's watching the video. You never know. You, know not, you never know how far it reaches. So just hit the share button. Do some good for someone in their life and... You know, keep it moving. Come visit me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. YouTube Shorts, as well as Facebook. I'm all over the internet. I'm all over the place. Can't miss your boy. Go on the Google search bar, AGs underscore POV. You'll follow, find all my, my handles, my tags, where I'm at, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and you can join in and be one of the first to receive the video or know about the video once you hit that notification bell and everything else notifying you on all the other little platforms that come with it. You know, you know what you gotta do. I love every single one of y'all. I thank you for coming out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.